hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m square divided by m is equals to zero and we find first all the values of m uh, that is satisfied over this uh, given equation so we solve this problem for two methods uh, and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here in the first method we uh, break this m square because we know that if we have two square we write it as 2 multiplied by 2 so uh, in the same pattern we break this m square as m multiplied by m and it is divided by m is equals to 0 and further you see here this m is cancelled out by this m and from here we easily get the value of m is equals to 0. So this is the first real root of the given equation uh, and because this is the root and now here we check that is this root uh, be the solution of the given equation or is the root is the extraneous root so uh, for this uh, we need to check this root and we uh, check that is this root is uh, satisfied or verified over a given question statement or not so for verification of this root we first need to copy down given question statement here it is m square divided by m is equals to zero this is the our given question statement and now here we need to put uh, the above values of m here so when we put this value of m is equals to 0 on uh, numerator as well as denominator side it will be written as 0 square divided by 0 and here we check that is this equals to 0 or not and further you see here we have this is the 0 square and 0 square becomes 0 divided by 0 is equals to 0 or not uh, so here we have a uh, uh, little bit uh, explanation about the left hand side and you see here in the left hand side we have this is the zero over zero form so usually this form is called the this form is called the indeterminate form okay this is the indeterminate form so uh, in other words we just say that this type of form cannot be solvable or we just uh, uh, simply say that it is uh, undefined form so if this is undefined so it cannot be equals to zero uh, so this shows that m equals to zero is not satisfied over this question statement uh, so uh, here we finally conclude that uh, m equals to zero be the extraneous root okay uh, you very well uh, know about extraneous root so extraneous roots uh, are those roots which cannot be satisfied over a given question statement so this type of roots are called the extraneous root so uh, finally we say that our given equation has no solution okay because we find uh, the given queen has only one root that is m equals to 0 but m equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call m equals to 0 be the extraneous root and our given queen has no roots so here further we again solve this problem uh, for second method and in second method we just explain uh, the method uh, we just explain the second method to find the value of m so if you have m square divided by m is equals to 0 this is the our given question statement and now here uh, in order to find the value of m we move this m to the right hand side and it will be written as m square is equals to 0 multiplied by m and we know that uh, 0 times of any number is equals to 0 so uh, here you get this is the m square equals to 0 and mm, for the value of m we need to remove the square sign for this we will take the square root on both of the sides and you see here this two and this square root are gone and we get m is equals to zero
so here uh, we uh, uh, we just conclude into the first method that m equals to zero be the extraneous root so it cannot be satisfied our given question statement so here we just say that this equation has no solution in general okay so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos